thoughts on did that puck just kind of roll off your stick on the shorthand opportunity when you were trying to make the move? And how unfortunate is it, like something like that? It just seems like when it rains, it pours, and you have chances like that. Yeah, obviously, uh, that's an opportunity that I like to have back and have a better chance on it. Uh, faked, and then he did go down, but obviously, I got to make a better play on that. I, it's obviously a good opportunity to put that one up over his glove or something. And uh, obviously, like I said, I, that's an opportunity that uh, you got to really put in the back of the net. How would you assess your play? Obviously, you've had a couple points, a couple of assists, but still trying to get some goals. Like, have you gotten opportunities? Have you seen some ice, or is it just trying to be more defensively responsible? Is it kind of taking you out of some plays, or, or how do you assess that? I should ask. Yeah, like last game, I felt uh, you know I focused really hard on just skating hard and uh, putting puck deep, making sure I'm playing that simple game. And uh, last night, I felt I did that well. But obviously, when I get those few opportunities, you you like to capitalize and. Um, obviously, we had lots of shots last night, but uh, a few of them got to get put behind uh, throughout the full group. Is it, obviously, goes, we talked about the big guys are scoring, the Hamiltons, the Heishers, Hughes. What needs to come from the secondary guys to kind of chip in, just even if it's just a goal here and there to, to help out? Like, what more, was more needed? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, you want to use mo- that momentum and even just give, get those offensive chances to create uh, a better flow through the game. The more offensive time wear them down, and then uh, obviously, when you wear the teams down more, uh, they get more tired, and obviously you you can create more opportunities, and um, you know that's obviously something that we want to uh, keep pushing towards. And what can you do to generate more opportunities for yourself personally, maybe on the ice? Yeah, same. Obviously, like I said last game, I focus on a lot of working hard, uh, putting the puck deep, and obviously I want to make sure that I when I have those opportunities, use my skill and hockey sense, to obviously uh, put those behind the net and make plays with my line mates. We're all here for a reason, and uh, talented players, so we want to make sure that. Um, like I said, the best defense is when you're playing the ozone, and uh, we really want to focus on that too. One of the, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. The last one. You play with Jack a lot. Obviously, he's named an All Star. How happy are you for him? I know it's the second time around, but how happy are you for him and how deserved it is it? I mean, he's just been lights out lately. Yeah, obviously, uh, he's putting up some crazy numbers right now. He's scoring a lot. Like uh, he has it going for him right now, and uh, you can obviously see why. He's a talented player. The puck's always on his stick. He's making good reads and. Uh, it's a great opportunity for him just to go enjoy that and uh, prove that he's a top guy, and uh, I, he's been doing that full for the full start of the year. One of the things that Lindy said the other day about your play is he's liked how you've improved yourself from last year to this year on the penalty kill. How big of an asset is that for you? And maybe what are some of the tweaks as you learn more and more about killing penalties at this level that's really helped you bring that part of your game up? Yeah, obviously, uh, penalty kill. You those are really opportunities where you the momentum changes sometimes, like of. Uh, you know, you shut down their power play, they're not getting chances, and we're just making them dump it in every time. We're, uh, you know, using that to our advantage, and that's momentum for our team. And, uh, you know, obviously getting used to our system there on the PK this year and playing that, you know, I'm every every time we get a penalty, you know, I'm ready to go make sure that I'm doing my job out there. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a great opportunity to play those special teams. And uh, I've been a PK player all my life growing up, so it's uh, – you know, me and Halsey've been doing a pretty good duo out there and uh, using that to our advantage. And really, what is it like being a duo with him and, and what he knows of the game and, and all that? Yeah, obviously he's a defensive player too, and uh, I think when you build that chemistry throughout playing so many games together of, on the PK, yeah. uh, you kind of know where guys are going to be. Uh, we know what to do on all the face-offs. Uh, you know, if, uh, most of the time he's always gone the blue line. I'm the one F1-4 check-in, and uh, we get really comfortable with our job, and I think just having that chemistry on the PK has really helped us. How, how do you judge when – I know you use the term targeted pressure, so you don't want to pressure too much, but you do si- sometimes want to force the issue. Is that a read and react when you guys are out there? You're just kind of feeling each other out, so if I exert a little bit, someone's going to kind of cover for me? Yeah, you, you put all the tools together. You have your system in play, and then you have hockey reads, and you, you look at the video, and you know their system. So – uh, we go over that all before the game so you know those certain situations don't catch you off guard and you want to be prepared for it. And I, I think we've been doing a really good job of that lately. And, um, you know, like, like I said, when I go out there, I want to make sure that I, I have that in my mind and I know what to do and uh, kill off that two minutes. I, mean, I think a lot of people talk about power play, they talk about the chemistry amongst the power play group, but not a lot of people talk about the chemistry amongst PK girls because it's a lot, honestly, I think it's almost more so needed because you're down and you're trying to read one guy's going somewhere, one guy's going out of the way. How, what is the importance of that kind of reading off each other? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, uh, the power play is looking to break down the PK. They want to make sure that they take them out of their spots, put them in an awkward situation. And, uh, you know, the PKers, you know, you you uh, feed off each other. You, you look at what they're doing. You look at the situation, and you just make sure that you 
feel comfortable in the situation. And I think, uh, you know, me and Halsey have been doing a great job of that. And uh, to speak for all the PK, you know, obviously we've been having a pretty good percentage and shutting them down. And, uh, you know, we're feeling comfortable in that uh, aspect of our game. Thank you. So I just throw one more at you. What's the mindset or the mood of the team right now? The, you know, the winning streak's in the past. We know what's happening. The lead has disappeared, and now it's a battle for positioning within the division. Just where is this team at mentally? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, we had a really good start to the year, and obviously teams go through this, and uh, we want to make sure we're obviously looking at the positives, what we need to know, what we need to fix to get back to where we were. And um, like last night, we, we had a lot of shots on net, but, uh, you know, we like to put a few more past them, and uh, that's an aspect we're focusing on. Just the, the details are a big thing. We're really looking towards stick on puck, uh, playing tough to play against, not giving those uh, grade A chances away to them. And uh, obviously these Games coming up, especially in division like the Rangers and stuff, they're must wins that you want to make sure that we can uh, stay on top of a game and uh, let teams try to come come at us and not us, uh, you know, being the ones trying to push our way back up. How do you do that? How do you fine tune scoring? Yeah, obviously um, you can work on it. Like today out there, we we're doing a lot of those small area chances in front of the net, grade A's, trying to make sure we put those through. And uh, I think just. When you get those chances, you want to keep momentum off it and not give them the chances back. I feel like if you keep pressure, 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 and um, you know they're obviously going to go in at some point. And I think just obviously, like I said, every every shot that you take in practice, you want to make sure you try to put that past the goalie. And I think that'll really carry over.